this intake is starting to look extremely nice. I mean, it's looking pretty good. We got the 92 millimeter throttle body installed. We ain't got our sensors installed yet. That's, you know, it's, we, we ain't worried about that. We got the fuel pressure and fit and adapted onto it. What else do we need? Well, we need this. This is a throttle cable bracket with cruise control. Yes, I will be adding cruise control, most likely to this truck, hopefully to this truck, because I didn't got the cruise control box. And we got it on the long wheel base LS Chevy. We should be able to put it on a C30. This bracket kit also comes with new bolts, and it's around 15 bucks online. You can find them on Amazon, eBay. Even on uh, specialty stores, you should be able to find them on like uh, shops that deals with Square Body Chevy, uh, LS swaps. You know, if you put a Trailblazer SS intake on it, this bracket, you know, shows up. You can get it with or without the cruise control. It don't matter what kind of setup you got, there's a bracket for it. If not, you can make your own, but this is bolt on. So I'm going to show you today how to bolt it on because they don't come with instructions, just bolts in this and you figure it out. Let's jump into the video. So this is the top of the intake. Here's the throttle body. And we're going to take ease off. If I can get this. Okay. This big guy here and this guy here needs to come out. And you can see why they need to come out. This bracket sits right here. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tools. The size of these on the factory intake is a 10. And I'm going to need a wrench for this one. If you can tell, the socket will not go down on it. So let's go ahead and break the one that the socket will go down on loose. And it comes off extremely easy because this is plastic. And you don't want to over tighten this because you can strip it. I mean, it's not really plastic. It's got a metal insert, like a brass insert. So you don't want to strip that. I'll get you a close-up of the insert. I said insert, but you see the blast little insert like that. You can replace those, but try not to strip them. The inserts has also been known to pull out. Trust me. I know, personally. I said pull out. <laughs> it's been a long night. So now the bracket will go just like this. And it'll set just like so. Now it does got kind of a tilt downward, and it does got adjustment on it for your cable. Now you can use your factory studs if you want to put the top of your intake back on. That is perfectly fine. Or you can use the new bolts that come with the kit right here. That is also fine. What I am going to do is use my studs for now. And I'm going to use these studs because I'm thinking about using my factory intake cover. When tighten these, don't over tighten it, they just snug up. Because you can pull out the insert and you can over tighten it. There we go, it should be fine. You can see how the cable will come out here and come to here. And this bracket is a little bent. It could use a little straightening. But I mean, 50 bucks, what do you expect? I mean, we can straighten it. It's probably what I do just a tad. Just a tad, just a tad. By God, country accent sure coming out tonight. Okay, I would like to bend this. Fast grips, that's what I need. Fast grips is exactly what I need. So if your bracket needs bend a little, take you some fast grips to put on it, just like I'm doing here. And bend it a little, gently now. There we go. Now we'll see how it looks. Eh, it still could come down just a smidge. Just a smidge to get that lined up over just a little bit better. Now we'll see how it lines up. Okay, I might over bend it just a tad. After a little bit of bending, if you look, we line up a whole lot better now. Looks a whole lot better. It could go a little bit more, but I think I'm fine with it. Okay, I'm not fine with it. I lied. Okay, now let's try it out and look at it. That was a lot. Okay, I'm better with that. Much better. What do you guys think? Everything lines up now? 
Throttle cable should be good. We got some adjustment here too, if need be. I think it's gonna look great. So it's that simple to install your bracket. Now this bracket was under 15 bucks. Right around 15 bucks, you get them online. You can see our bracket wasn't bent perfect, but it does got some adjustment to it. I guess it can, you know, accommodate different cable sizes and stuff with what little adjustment it's got. But for 15 bucks, don't expect it to be perfect. You might have to adjust it a little. But I'm very pleased with it. I think it's gonna work out good when we get this bolted on and we go to install the throttle cable. I will try to do my best to get a video of me actually installing the throttle cable into the truck, which is a square body Chevy, and uh, hooking it up to the throttle body for the ones that's doing the same flop and might found this video, or just enjoying the build videos of the truck. So I hope you enjoyed. If you're new, get subscribed. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for taking time out of your day. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.